everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got another fun Halloween treat for you. This is the second Halloween treat video. I'll have four this week. So make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There'll be two different blog posts with Halloween treats. This is a tombstone slider box. See how that works? And inside I have Hershey fangs. So um, my kids absolutely love these and these are all I have left. <laughs> so I had some other things in my cabinet. I was gonna see if anything fit. These uh, Nature Valley minis, they would fit. Yes, a little bit snug, but also just a Snickers fits absolutely perfectly in there, doesn't it? Okay, but I designed it for these Hershey fangs and then I found the empty bag on the floor. Well, in their defense, we did make some cookies and cream cookies, so we used some of them, but they ate the rest of them, as they always do. Um, I'm using Bag of Bones. The sentiment is from Bag of Bones, okay? Um, the dies that I'm using from here are this die right here and the fence. Um, and then Tricks and Treats, I'm not using the stamps, but I am using that adorable little ghost. And I cut the ghost from our glow-in-the-dark paper, so if you don't have it make sure you get it it's back in stock it was out of stock for a while they couldn't keep it in stock but now i think they've replenished and it's in stock so make sure you grab it okay all right let's make our box you're gonna need two pieces of basic black the first one is five and a half by seven and a fourth we're gonna score it at one and two on all four sides so you're just gonna turn it as you go one two one two okay so whoops i did the wrong one let's that's okay we can fix it one two ignore that one right there all right for the second piece it is six and a fourth by three and three eighths we're going to score it at one two and five eighths three and five eighths and five and a fourth nothing on the short side just the long side that's going to be the little tunnel that your your um little drawer slides in and out of all right, the first thing that you need to do is get your bone folder and burnish those lines. We're gonna ignore that oopsie line right there. All right, and I'm just gonna go around and burnish. There's eight lines, okay? Now we're gonna cut out the three corners. Um, from the short side, I'm gonna cut all the way in to the two squares, but I'm not gonna cut off that top left square, okay? I'm just gonna cut the three squares off, okay? So let's do that again on the short side, all the way in, and then here we can do all the way in, and snip, and then snip, and two more times. Make sure that you're cutting right in the middle of your score line. I tend to have a bad habit of not doing that, and then things things go a little sideways. So try to stay right in the middle. All right, now I'm gonna lay this down so you can see exactly what it looks like. All right, let me pick all these pieces up, and that way you can see. This is what it looks like, okay? So what we did is we cut out the three squares from each side like that. Now we've got these flaps. I'm also gonna show you something else I want you to do that makes this a little bit easier. Cut off the corners of all of our outside rectangles, okay? So go all the way around and just cut these off like this. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna use liquid glue. That is my preference uh, when I make boxes. I'm gonna put some adhesive right here and right here. And I'm gonna start by pulling those square tabs in and pulling the side up like that. All right, so hopefully you can see what I've done. I know black cardstock isn't always the easiest to see. But I have pulled those sides in and I have glued them to this. Now we're gonna do the same thing, although I think I need just a little bit more glue there. Fold the sides in and 
that side up. So the tabs in, the side up. Hold it for a second. Now this is what your box looks like. Now I'm just gonna take some glue and fold these over. Now, if you follow me, we made a box very similar to this either last week or the week after, but it was bigger. So this is a slider box just on a small scale. All right, now I like to take my clothes pens and just pinch all those sides, force that glue to stick together like that. Okay, now let's let it sit and dry while we do the other things. Now this part is the little tunnel that um, your drawer that we just made is gonna slide into. So I'm gonna burnish all those lines and all we're gonna do here is adhere end over end. Okay, and I'm just gonna use um, stamp and seal like that and there is your tunnel, okay? All right, now let's look at the other pieces we have. I've done most of the work ahead of time for us. It's pretty much just die cutting. I cut out a um, basic black tombstone header, that, if you will, and I cut out a basic white fence. I'm first gonna also adhere a one by two and a half inch piece of our Halloween paper right there along the bottom. Actually, if I remember correctly, let me take a look. Yeah, so the reason I added this is because this is actually too short for your for your uh, tunnel. So let's put this on here. That will help us know exactly where to put the designer series paper. I just suddenly remembered, okay, I think this paper is to help us cheat a little bit on the length. All right, so put that. I also wanted the end up here like this so that you could pinch it and pull. So I wanted it a little bit up. Okay, so let's get that on there. See how it's a little bit higher and then that way we can pinch and pull. And so then we can just put this down here towards the bottom and you'll never know that it was a little bit shorter than the tunnel. All right, so now for the fence. We are going to use a dimensional and I want you to put this dimensional where your tag is going to be. See how the tag on top is going to hide our dimensional, okay? So put that there like that. On our little tag, we're going to stamp in pumpkin pie. Boo to you. Okay. And we're gonna add another dimensional on top of our other dimensional. And we'll put that like that. And then let's get our glow in the dark ghosts. You'll have to trust me, they do glow in the dark. Maybe I'll turn the lights out at the end of the video. We'll try that and we'll see how it looks. We have them coming out of the graveyard. I don't like spooky Halloween stuff, but I think this is pretty cute. All right, there we go. Now for our little thing here, I didn't want to add a big bow because it would take away from all the cuteness. So I just took a little piece and tied a little knot. Okay, and I mean really a very small little knot. And we're gonna take our mini glue dot and my take your pick tool. Let me tie that just a little bit tighter. There we go. And there we go. How cute. All right, let's bring back over our little drawer, put our candy in, and we will be done. All right, let's do the Snickers this time. And we're just going to slide it in like that and there you go it's pretty easy this one's missing its drawer let's put that one back all right you guys i'm gonna turn the lights out but hold on i gotta tell you go to my blog click the link here on youtube go get that free pdf and check out my three other halloween projects there'll be three on this post and then one the following day all right bye guys happy halloween are they glowing oh, i think there's still too much light in here shoot oh well i promise they do glow in the dark. Happy Halloween, guys. Bye-bye.